Good evening everyone, Logician here. Uh, this is the video I promised uh, three months ago. Uh, this is the ALU from the calculator, all stripped down and cleaned up. I just haven't had time to make it, but I had some free time tonight, so I decided to go out and get Fraps. Get Fraps. It is the best screen recorder program in the entire world. For the calculator video, I was using BB Flashback Express um, because I couldn't afford Fraps at the time, but now I can, so I have it, and it's awesome. Get it now because it's so much better. Uh, I mean, you can just tell it's recording at a better frame rate. This is still a crappy computer, so I have to keep the resolution low. Sorry, but it's at least running a lot better. The file sizes get big, though, so I have to I have to keep this quick. Anyways, so if you're familiar at all with uh, Redstone circuit design and uh, uh, redstone calculator spe to be specific you might recognize this uh, this gate here this is an XOR gate and this is what does the main adding You'll, if you add in one bit you can see it turns on if you add in both it turns off and the center torch turns on which you can take the carry out of because when you add one plus one in binary it becomes a zero and you have to increment the next space or well, add one and I'll cover that in a second. So what I did is I took that and it took me a little bit but I turned it into a one block wide minus that torch on the side that's not important and uh, let's see that's seven blocks long and what this allows me to do is to have an array set up like this. This is probably the smallest ALU I've ever seen uh, anywhere except in a real computer of course um, and it's fully functional you can see both inputs here you can see it is an XOR gate because the output is off and this carries on when both inputs are on but uh, if only one's on the output is on and the carries off so this allows you to as I said before, I'm sorry, it, it's getting late and I just got out of high school so I'm just out of it. Uh, so anyways, it uh, took a little bit of redstone trickery with repeaters and such but I got it so that I could put the carry between the gates and basically make this an overall two, only two times wider than a than uh, the number of gates. So this is probably 34 blocks wide. I haven't measured it. And it's got 16 bit inputs. One input set is up top here and the other input set is down here. And then it's got a 17 bit output because you need the carry. And it works. Uh, sorry for that lag spike. This is an old computer. I don't I don't know what's running on it. So as you can see, if we add one plus one, it becomes two, because that's one, that's two, and so on. Uh, it's fully functional as the calculator video shows. I won't get into the double dabble because that's uh, that's going to require a whole other video. That's about it. I will be placing this world. Uh, in a download so you can pull this up and take a look at how this works how the gate works and how the ALU works as well as a little bonus over there I'll uh, I'll let whoever cares figure that out because uh, that's actually for our next redstone build that we're probably never gonna get done because special announcement that only about three people are going to pay attention to by this point is that uh, Prodigy and I are making a video game dun 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 uh, sorry my monotone voice won't go that low anyways it's I can't really say too much about it but I will be linking our game studio I guess that's what we're calling it uh, channel in the description as well as an annotation that's going to fill your screen right about now 
and uh, go check that out we got a teaser trailer up there it's crappy but it's still cool check that out subscribe because we're going to be posting more and we're also going to be posting tutorials as we go and that's something uh, you don't see a whole lot so keep an eye out for that that's going to be really cool I'm going to be getting a new computer soon. Prodigy got a sweet Alienware and he's giving me his computer which is in between the Alienware and this old piece of crap so I'll be able to do more stuff and hopefully make it look better and a little more entertaining in the meantime. So that's about it. I don't think anyone enjoyed this but hopefully it was informative to at least one person if that if that happened, then I did my job. Have a nice evening.